Hello, cousin. Welcome back to oh, it's Chilling My Alley. 10 on 9 a.m. Okay, so High Priestess wants to just pop out, obviously. It's for a reason. So, the High Priestess, the Star, the Magician, the Will of Fortune, Justice, the Chariot, and the Devil. Brace for incoming. There's a big, uh, there's a lot of energy coming towards you. It's not a bad thing. It just seems like there's, like, you get real busy or something out of nowhere. Or maybe you're going somewhere that's super busy. Maybe you're at work and it just gets super busy out of nowhere. The high priestess and justice. So you have I believe, I balance, and then you have the magician. So that's untapped abilities. That's tapping into your powers. That's making shit happen. Will of Fortune also popped out. So I feel like you're using your resources to the max. Um, I feel like you're... Maybe not to the max, but I feel like you're definitely utilizing a lot of resources. I feel like you're uh, tapping into a lot of the different um, areas with things. I feel like you're you're thinking uh, just you're thinking outside the box. Then you're dismantling the box to make sure that nothing can be in the box or you have to go inside the box to think about what's inside the box. You're dismantling everything so that you can see everything. What's this? The hangman. You're seeing something from a different point of view, a different perspective. You have a different view. Yeah, the lovers and the tempers. I feel like... <clears throat> Yeah, it's like you giving a valedictorian speech. I feel like what it is, is whatever this is that it's like, man, I'm just over this shit. For real, for real. Whatever that situation is, you trusted your instincts. You trusted your gut. You trusted in whatever your vision is, whatever your, you know what I'm saying, whatever you feel. That leads you right into balance and justice. But with the hangman sitting here, um... I feel like it was a karmic lesson, honestly, that was attached to this. With the high priestess and justice, I feel like it was simply a karmic lesson that was attached. It was some things that you needed to see. It was some things you needed to learn. Some things you needed to acknowledge. Some things you needed to know. Um, the reason why is because it's... Sometimes you don't have to uh, experience negative and fucked up things like some things you really don't have to experience at all by yourself it's just enough to know about it to know okay i'm not gonna do that okay that's not the way to go that's not the way to be that's not the way to talk that's not the way to just to just be a fucking person like that's just not the way it seems like you were put in a position to see and and maybe maybe uh somebody was like yo um Oh my gosh, I don't know how to explain this. They were they were trying to observe you or thought that they were observing you, but it was actually the opposite way around. And I feel like something here comes off very twin flame. Yeah, the lovers, something comes off very mirror-like, very twin flame-like. Twin flames don't have to just be like the person you in a relationship with that you trying to marry or whatever the fuck. It don't have to just be that. Twin flames come in a lot of different flame or <laughs> a lot of different um shapes and forms and ways and you know what I'm saying? It, it comes in differently. But again, with the hangman, I feel like you under it's a different point of view, it's a different perspective. I feel like you realize that though. That's when you look at something and you you like, man, I don't want that. Or you look at somebody and like, man, I don't want to be nothing like you. Like, I don't want your life. I don't want nothing like you. Like, that's not cool. That's not it. That's not for me. That's not. And I feel like they're looking at you. And what it is, is I feel like y'all are triggering each other. Whoever this is, what, like whoever this is, man, I feel like y'all are triggering each other. I feel like they're triggering you and you're like, yeah, I don't want to be nothing like you. Like, I don't want nothing like that. And I feel like they're they're looking at you triggered like and they're like, well, shit. They're looking at you like you weak. Because you don't want to be like them. 
you're looking at them like, why do you even want to be like you? Like, do you, do you see, like, what the fuck going on for real? Like, you really like your life like that? Yeah, somebody is, they don't see anything wrong with how they move around and whatever the hell. And it's just like, okay, well, I'm good. That's not the type of situation I want. This is like when you do, um, uh, uh. This is like when you do career training or something like that. Like when you you take a week and you go to the different job types or whatever. Like one day construction, one day culinary, one day architect, one day uh, hospital type thing. What word was I going for right there? Hospitality. Uh, maybe one is a mechanic. I don't know, but it seems like, let's say you go through all five days and you go through all of these careers and you look, see there, maybe you choose a couple that you like. Maybe you don't like none of them. Maybe you like one of them. Maybe you're interested, but eh, I'd rather go look at a couple other things before I decide. It's like looking at, I don't know, man. This is like lining up five careers and being like, yeah, I'm good. I don't like none of those. But then this is weird. This is like the, this is like a recruiter giving you five. Um, this is like a recruiter giving you five options and you being like, yeah, I'm good. I don't like none of those. You ain't got nothing else. No, these are, these are all the options. Oh yeah, I'm good. Uh, I'll go somewhere else then. Now they offended. Now they're mad. How dare you not like any of the options I have? Like somebody is crazy as fuck. Like somebody is really like, how how dare you feel like you're better than me? Or how dare you not want to be like me? Or how dare you not think that I'm just the most amazing thing ever? And it's like, but the hangman, however you see this person is not how they see them. Like I, I see you as fucked up for real. Like however you see you, kudos. But that's not how I see you. You are not, you a perfect example of what I don't want to be. That's offending somebody, but okay. What's this? Hey, it's show world. It's your life to live. Like, what What do you... Yeah, it's temperance. I promise you, I feel like something was definitely a karmic lesson. I feel like you needed to see or you need to see. Something could currently be going on, but it's like you simply need to see why and what you could turn into or what could happen if you are just... It's like the ghost of Christmas past, Christmas, future, and present like the the ghost of christmas past that's that's the energy i'm getting from this what's this yeah the tower i kid you not scared straight hey you know you don't need to be like this 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 and this i don't care guess i can be okay well let me show you why the fuck you cannot be. bull Hey, divine delivered beyond scared straight on some whole nother other shit because this came through. Like I told y'all before, this the universe be giving you your lessons back back to back. Like these are lessons that you don't hear somebody verbally speak these lessons in your fucking ear until after. You be going through shit wondering, like, man, what the what is happening? Hey, I'm trying to tell you, boy. I'm trying to tell you. It was, it's just meant for you to really see something for what it is. Like, yo, like, do you see what the, keep going this route. Do you see what you're going to run into? Do you see what your life look like? Y'all don't like it. So you, you, you see something. So you like, yeah, fuck that. I'm not, I'm not cool with that. So you change your mind. You change your perspective. The, the tower, you start to, you, that's where self-development hit. You grew so much and didn't even realize. And you, you realize that you've grown, but you don't realize how much you've grown. I'm talking a stupid amount. Like you, you've grown a crazy, crazy, crazy amount. Personal growth. Oh, oh. Because you're one of them people that you believe God. When God says, I will fuck you up if you go do that. You believe what the hell you was told. You believe what you were told. Okay. Um, Your parents say, you go in there and you get another Rice Krispie. I'm going to whoop the shit out of you. Because I just told you too many times and you think that I'm playing with you. So you think I'm playing? 
Go ahead, enjoy it, because I'm going to fuck you up right after. Go ahead. Go ahead, think I plan. Go ahead. I think you got hit with a tower a couple of times because you thought shit was a joke and then you finally stopped doing it. But that's usually how it goes. What's this? That's usually how it goes. The Empress and the Fool, yeah. Peter Pan energy not wanting to grow up and then all of a sudden the fool and the empress in the tower. Feminine or masculine. Yeah, your ass got to change your heart. Why? Because the towers come in, but they don't always have to hit you. Like they don't always got to be like on some, on some, like your whole life is just financial fucked up. Your emotions messed up. Your mental's messed up. Like it don't have to be you. You could see that shit. Be, when you see an alcoholic and their life is just, fucking brutal that's easily do you see this this uh this uh owl right here at the top owls rapper they represent wisdom i'm up here trying to talk fast as shit they represent wisdom with justice and balance you looked at something that was like yeah i'm good like that's not even the type of life i want to live you can look at people on drugs right now and wonder how did that happen Maybe you don't, but maybe you simply also in that same fucking thought process like, yeah, that's, I'm not, I never do drugs. That's why I don't do that. That's why I don't drink. That's why I don't do this. That's why I don't do that. It's easy to look at something that has, because somebody is being, somebody is literally, this is the definition of, I'm about to make an example out of this person. They are the example. You're like, man, why the fuck am I even, like, what, what is the hell? That's why they are the example. Like, that's what you don't want. Then you need to change your ways. Some of y'all, it could be the way you move around, the way you think, the way you act, the way you talk, the way you just, the way you live life, however it goes. Obviously, you was a little too close to their path. That's why it's being shown in your face. Like, hey, excuse me, pay attention. You see this right here? Do you like that? See this person life? Do you like that? Huh? No, you, you, you don't. Okay, so you understand that your, your path, it look a little too similar to theirs. You get that, right? You get that these beginning stages, you're looking, you're, 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 that's how they started off. You're, you're starting to, and you starting to tweet. So let me, let me put, let me, let me show you something real quick. Before you decide that that's a good route to take, let me show you something real quick. You are, now you see this person completely different. It's almost like you feel bad for them. Like, man, you never grew up or you never learned or you never got it together. Or you never figured it out or you never like whatever the fuck. Yeah, it, just, it seems very, uh, it seems very simple. Like, it's, talk about an example, man. This person is literally the definition of being made an example of because you see it exactly the death and the devil. Y'all don't like that shit? Y'all don't, don't like the path that they on? You might want to put that unruly shit behind you then. What's this? Because you'll never grow like that. Point blank and period. It's cool to be you. It's not cool to be a whole nother fucking demonic entity. Point blank. Like, I don't, I don't know what else to say about that. The higher font. Would you rather be respected or feared? duh i would rather be respected like what the fuck and it seems like at first maybe your thought process was i'd rather be feared i don't know maybe some of y'all is like no nah, that's not my thought okay so i'm not talking to you but if, if at first you had this rough energy about you and it seems like that has everything to do with your background like you just couldn't really get up out of that shit it's like a teenager phase when they're just complete dicks. It's it's kind of like that. Like you just never grew out of it or somebody never grew out of that shit. And you're seeing that like you never grew up. You're a teenager. You never grew up. You act like a fucking kid. Okay. So maybe again, because I'm saying like if, if they trigger you too, you trigger them. I feel like they, you, you see them as you, you act like a fucking kid. But I feel like they see you the same way. Like, man, you act like a fucking kid. The way they went about something has complete aggression attached to it. They didn't make it to where they fucking wanted to be because of that. 
So they want to play it off like they cool with where they are in life. But in reality, they're not. They're pissed off. Their dreams did not come true. What do you... You got the ability to fall down that same path. You really don't. But just to show you what you was uh, starting to fall into, let me wake you up real quick. What's this? That's exactly what they did. Because it's, it's just very simple to be like, yeah, I'm cool. Will of Fortune. Yeah, the change. The You you started changing direction. Like, yeah, I'm cool. Strength, I'm cool. Would you rather be feared or respected? I'd rather be respected. That comes with growing up. That comes with age. Having an aggressive attitude all the fucking time for no reason is super weird. Like me cussing all the time. I'm getting out of it. I just, you know, I'd be real comfortable. <laughs> but no, it's just like, it's like having aggression all the time and just being always with that rah-rah shit. That's weird. And it comes down to the point where people don't want to be around you. Don't nobody want to talk to you. Don't nobody. And then you don't care. And that's even weirder. But it's not that you don't care. You, you, you've made yourself feel like you don't care. But you actually do. If you didn't care, nobody else would be able to trigger you. They're triggering you for you to be like, yeah, I'm cool. I don't want to be nothing like you. You, there's something wrong with you. But again, that comes with age. That comes with, it don't even come with age. It comes with maturity. It comes with growth. It comes with personal growth. Somebody just don't want to believe that they are a fucked up person. And it's like, you got shown. Let me look you in the mirror real quick. You like that? Nah, hold on. Yeah, hold up. You probably cute as fuck, but where your soul at? Because you starting to look like this person. Where your soul? You starting to look, you starting to look a little funny. Oh yeah, hold on. I don't like that. Because don't nobody like whoever this is, man. They want to act like they so cool with it. And that actually may be your fucking problem. You may be extremely comfortable with being antisocial or just being like by yourself. I feel like that's a choice for you. It's not for them. And if you follow their direction, it won't be a choice for you either. It's going to be a default fucking thing. Like, nobody likes them because who the fuck wants to talk to somebody that's always aggressive? That's always like, you're never wrong. You're just always fucking rude and mean. Who wants to talk to somebody like that? You can't have a normal conversation. You They, they always point that weird ass energy at somebody. Like, really? That's why you have no friends. That's why. That's why nobody likes you. That's why nobody trusts you. That's why nobody wants to be around you. Again, I'm saying some of y'all are comfortable with just not being around nobody. And I feel like that's where it leads to. And I don't even think that. I think you being by yourself, I feel like you're actually supposed to be like around others or sharing your energy with others. Some of y'all are extremely locked down. And it's due to you just being like, man, I'm sick of people fucking me over and using me. and woo, woo, woo. I get that. I ain't telling you what to do. I'm just telling you, it looked like your energy is supposed to be open. Like you're the hierophant, the high priestess. Take out resonate. It just seems like you're an open book. You have knowledge. You have, you know what I'm saying? You you got what's necessary to, to kind of clear that type of shit away. Like keep that energy away. You damn near a gatekeeper to make sure that type of energy don't even fall through. Like, yeah, nah, hold on. You the bouncer at the door. Yeah, that energy ain't sliding. I don't know. I feel like you being super isolated all the... And some of y'all, maybe you just isolated because right now you don't have a choice. It's like, well, I don't really got nowhere to go. I don't really got nobody I want to see. That's going to change in a second. But again, I feel like this all comes with fucking time. You needed to see that something was a karmic lesson completely. And I feel like you learned a syllabus worth of shit in this, in this karmic lesson. Oh, you learned a... Oh, you learned too many things. A plethora of things. Like you took good notes. You took meticulous notes. Dang. Like what? Did you uh. What you had the computer type it out as they was talking or something? Like how you get all the important. No, hey, Because I was paying attention. 
And I feel like you might have kept going through something over and over. Will of Fortune, uh, the fool and the hangman kept going over and over and over. I feel like it's simply because you wasn't learning something. When you when you need 100% to pass that fucking test, but you're able to keep doing the test and, or you're able to keep going back, correcting whatever you got wrong until you get it right. You keep correcting it. You don't submit no fucking test knowing it's wrong. The fuck wrong with you? And then you wonder why your grades is fucked up. No, you fix what you have. Fix the problem. And I feel like it was a couple of things you kept ignoring. Like, no, nah, that's cool. They behavior cool. That's cool. No, nah, what they doing is cool. That's cool. That's cool. That's cool. That's not cool. It's not. It's very strange behavior. And that may work for some people. But if it don't work for you, don't be around it. Some of y'all, this is social media. Yeah, the hermit, the star, the strength, the magician. Some of y'all, this is fucking social media. Some of y'all with the charity could be somebody that's actually around you. This don't make no sense, man. I mean, it make all the sense, but it like it's it's just like it was so many lessons that you learned, man. It's like you learned a whole school year worth of shit in this time frame. It's like you learned every, it's like you had every single class back to back and you had mad long assignments back to back and then you just have assignment after assignment after assignment after assignment after assignment as soon as you finish that it's already the next day so now you got another set of assignments it's like damn it's like you don't get a break from something that just ran all the time that's because it was the time needed to, to speed up this actually took a shorter amount of time for you to figure this out this basically this is the path of least resistance because if you would have figured this shit out without having to without having an example of what not to do if you would have figured that shit out way later down the line oh you would have been fucked and it wouldn't have been no cousin how i fix this i don't think you would have been able to i think that's exactly why this is occurring the way it is and it don't need to actually affect you too much this is more of assimilation when it just it feels extra real but that shit really not real it's real enough for you to be like, oh, it's real enough for you to feel that shit, but it's not real. You can you can walk away from it. The simulation cannot walk away from being simulation. This person cannot walk away from being the example. They can't walk away from that. What's this? Yeah, judgment in reverse. Yeah, you changed your damn mind. Yeah, I'm cool. I don't even want to be like that. Noxious, loud, aggressive, rude. I'm cool. You know, it's funny because out of nowhere, I realized I can't do reaction videos. And I, I it's not that I can't do them. I have to really decide what type. But I figured out why it's so hard for me to do them. And it's simply that I don't, as, as crazy as it sounds, I don't like mean-spirited shit. I be talking reckless. But I do what I do and I'm passionate about what I do point blank i'm a storyteller that's just what it is i tell what the fuck's going down um but yeah i don't like mean-spirited shit like i don't like i don't know i like funny things but i don't like sitting like i'll laugh at them their whole bunch of shit but i'm not about to sit up there and be like he looks stupid as fuck wearing that fucking shit and then look at him he thought that he was he thought he was cute with that i do that shit here but that these are karmics not to say that they're not but i'm not about to just be sitting up there talking about nobody else and then when karma come back motherfucker, why does why everybody talk about me ain't you talking about everybody that's somebody's problem too then they're fucking me spirited they talk about everybody and get paranoid when they think people are talking about them to avoid that problem i simply just don't talk about people i'm simply just not fucking rude to people seems like that's your mind of, that's your train of thought that that would be common sense right but it, common sense is not so common um one of the biggest easiest things to do in my opinion all you have to do every day is just wake up and try not to piss the world off this person <laughs> They think that the world revolves around them. What's this? And that might have been your problem too. Yeah, if the world revolves around you, understand you are the center of your uh, problems and solutions. So if you're going to own one, own the other too. Yeah, don't just be like, yeah, I make all my problems go away. Yeah, you create them too. Because <laughs> you're the center of your world. <laughs> you know what's this like come on man you see exactly what the fuck you don't want it's just not necessary to be like that 
and it don't get you nowhere being being like that doesn't get you anywhere temperance and i feel like it's taking you uh it took you so to you this might have took you a long time it took you way shorter than you think especially if you're one of them type of people have you ever like okay let's say you 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 at school or and, and, and you got like a bunch of a bunch of papers or a test or something like that was you usually one of the first ones to get it done if you at work and you got a bunch of tasks to do are you usually one of the first ones to get it done like can you get shit done in a very fast manner can you get shit done you know can you do a, can you produce a lot in the same amount of time frame as everybody else so in 24 hours let's say in 24 hours uh somebody produced 24 videos well, their 24 hours, like they're, they're doing one an hour, right? That's their, that's their flow. You seem to overdo and overkill with everything. So with that being said, if you always wanted a top and one of the fastest ones to do something, you got to understand how fast this shit actually moves. You actually learn these karmic lessons a lot faster than you thought you was going to. A lot faster than you even think that you did. You know how people be like, yeah, time flies when you're having fun. Yeah, time flies when you fucking miserable too sometimes. Especially time only flies when you're miserable if you're actually doing the work. Why? Well, because you're miserable, but you're productive. You're busy. My clarity just kicking in so heavy, y'all. I just got download after download. After <laughs> we about to be reading today, y'all. damn it <laughs> that's funny yo you are just you did it you did it you did it you did it all right you you figured it out and it's very simple look with your eyes and close your talking mouth put your listening ears on and your thinking cap on and close your talking mouth shut it the fuck up shut it all the way up just pay attention. I don't need you to do no heavy lifting. Just pay attention. Just look. Okay? Just listen. Just feel the vibe. Okay? You did that. And realize with the tower and the higher phone. Hold on. This is like this is like when somebody's like, I can't find it. I can't find it. I can't find it. And, and then you're just like, you take their fucking head. You're just like, stop. Just look. Look. And then they're just like, oh. Yeah, you got tunnel visioned on something. You was looking at everything else and got fucking tunnel visioned on whatever this is. And that is exactly what was supposed to happen. I'm telling you, you think this took a while? This actually moved like it, 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 it took like 16 hours. Divine time. If we had to put a clock on this shit, you think something took. It could have been like, man, I swear this shit been like two, three, four years. When you look at the clock, when you just get to work. Like, damn, is it time to go? Shit, I swear I've been here like five hours already. And you look, and it's literally been six minutes. What the fuck? I, is the clock's broken in here or something? It ain't no six minutes. The fuck? I'm telling you, that's how fast you learn this, these karmic lessons, boy. You learn so many. But it's because you were so productive. When your work day goes by super fast because you got so much work to do. I be sitting there looking at the clock like, damn, all right, I got a lot of time today. I guess I could do some videos. By the time I drop all 10 videos, five on both channels. By the time I drop, I, by the time I, not even drop them, by the time I finish recording both channels. Boy. It be five, six hours later. <laughs> Then I'll be like, all right, let me go ahead and post these. Then I always get hungry right after. I'll be like, hold on, let me go eat first. Let me go get something to eat first. Then I can't never decide. That's what be taking so long. Shit, the time frame by the time. I always say the time frame in the beginning, which don't make no sense. Because by the time y'all see them, I'll be looking like, damn, this is, the fuck did, was this yesterday? <laughs> what the fuck are you doing? What's this? See, your energy changed. It's so happy. It's different. It's better. I can tell because it just manifested through me. Your energy went from, man, what the fuck, man, to, huh, you're back laughing and smiling and happy. It's because you figured this out, man. I'm telling you. I'm telling your ass, boy. And then sometimes it's like, it's like time 
it's like you're so productive and you like man you looking at the clock it's like you about to look at the clock you like man i know it's only been like an hour man this shit crazy and you look up and you realize it it's 10 minutes until it's time for you to go what what the hell, what the hell? today went by fast i feel like you gonna realize that shit man like i don't know i feel like you gonna realize that bro it's like, man, this shit been going on for forever. And it's like, man, yeah, but you was either mad productive or you're... So it's either you're being super productive and time is just like, by the time you figure this out, it's really time to go. It's like, you you trying to prepare for getting ready to get ready to go, right? All right, so at like 4.45, I'm about to start cleaning up this stuff because I'm about to try to head out to my locker by like 4.55. So that give me enough time. But it's like, you got that shit planned out, right? Listen to me. Listen to me right now. You have something like that planned out. You like, okay, you at work. You say, well, I get off at five. So at four, listen to me. At 445, I'm going to start. Now, mind you, this is before 445. Let's say it's like two o'clock or something. I don't fucking know. It's 12. I don't know. But you already got it set up in your mind. At 4.45, I'm about to start cleaning up. At 4.55, I'm going to go to my locker. That'll put me right at the at the, uh, at the 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 uh clock out thing. Whatever the fuck thing called. It, that'll put me right there. Like, 4.59. 5 o'clock, I'm going to hit my badge walk right out the door. That's what you got planned. But what you don't understand is... You're thinking that it's 2 o'clock because you've been so busy. But by the time you look up, it's actually mm, 4.50. Good thing about you is you keep all your shit together, though. So your mindset was it'll give me 10 minutes to clean up, but I don't need 10 minutes to clean up. I need more like three. And then if you adamant about getting out, I, I need more like a minute and a half, two minutes. You know what I'm saying? Let me quickly get this shit together. It's something like that. But I feel like, I feel like you got this shit planned out. But I feel like by the time you look up, you done did so much and the time done went past so well. Like it, it's been, it's been well past the time that you think it's supposed to be. And all of a sudden you start hearing extra shit. You like, wait a minute. You hear the new shift come in and shit. You like, oh, it's time to go already. You happy though, because you off and it's like, dang, this went by fast. You didn't even have, because you didn't have to think about anything. Everything was flowing exactly how it was supposed to go. That's exactly how this is about to take place. You got a time frame for something set up. But the thing is, it's you're so fucking productive that by the time you're not going to have time to be like, like, you literally won't have no time to wait. That's what I'm saying. Like, there's no wait time. You gonna be on the fucking. This like, yeah, like, you know, we about to clock out in like 10 minutes, right? Like 10 minutes. What? So you, you hurry up, finish whatever you doing. You start putting up all your stuff or whatever. You clean up your desk, whatever you're doing. And then you, you head up to, to, to your locker she you like all right let's go because either way you still about to walk right out the door why because you finished your work you cleaned up your area and now all you got to do is grab the rest of your shit clock out you out the door you happy that you're off you're happy that you walked out for you finished everything you were supposed to be doing you literally just completed something bro you did you you literally completed something you used your time very wisely Instead of you playing and talking to your friends and shit, when you was working, you got all it. Let's say you got a quota. You got to finish. Man, that when, I, when we used to make engine parts and shit like that, um, the molds for like the jet engines, that's one of the jobs I used to do. So when we used to make those, I used to have to assemble like all of the pieces and shit onto these big ass, heavy ass molds. Then I had to suture everything. Like it was it was a lot that went into it. But we had a quota that we had to do. But me, I'm fast and I it's it's once you get a pattern down, it's you know what I'm saying, you can just keep flying through it. You just keep repeating the same steps over and over. Because you have 
You know what I'm saying? Because you, you're, you're tunnel vision, because you're focused on whatever this is, because you have a pattern set up, you have a whatever the fuck this is set up, you're able to just keep everything going the way it's supposed to. Everything is set the way it's supposed to. So therefore, it ain't shit for you. And again, you keep everything close. So it's not shit for you to finish all of your stuff and then clean up, put everything up. And then, you know what I'm saying? You heading out. Now you going to your locker. Now you going to the clock. Whatever. The, now, now, you know what I'm saying? Now you're heading out. Like it's it, it moves extremely fast. Again, the irony of that is the job that I was doing was um it was assembly. It was part assembly where I'm I'm literally taking parts of like the the engines of jets, like the fighter jets. I'm taking those parts, taking those mold parts, and I'm assembling them to a bigger mold. So all of them are being assembled together to make a big ass, like whatever that part of the engine is. It's like making a big tray of brownies and then cutting the brownie so it's individual parts. Okay. With that same logic being put in play here, you, you managed to do that some way, shape, and form. All of the pieces, you assembled them correctly. And you did it, you did so many or you've done so much. Let's say you got a hundred, you got a hundred parts that you need to assemble. hundred parts go onto one, um, one big ass mold, right? Let's say you do eight of those. That's a whole lot of fucking parts. Those are hundreds of parts that you now have of the same piece. You did all of that. And whatever this time frame is, like you've literally, I can't, I don't know how to explain it. You've literally assembled everything and you've done so much so fucking fast. That now that it's time for something, it's time for you to go to the next thing. So you're getting off work. Now you're going to enjoy the rest of your day. So from here, life gets great. Why? Because you did your fucking job. Not only did you do your job, I feel like you feel good about whatever this is because you did a great job. You you did a good volume or you did a great job. You did whatever the hell this is. Like you you outdid yourself or you just did it. You, you proud of yourself. You proud of the work that you did. And I feel like that comes in in a bunch of different ways. It could be something that you're working on. This could be you. This could be shadow work. Whatever it is, I feel like you're very proud of yourself. You should be. You was looking funny for a minute. Shit. <laughs> the magician, the emperor in the world. Yeah, you decided to up your rank, up your status, up yourself. That's what I mean when I say up your rank. Well, in this reading. You decided to up yourself, what you want, self-improvement is very important. Why? Because it's a very clear example as to what you don't want. If you, if you don't fix these problems, these self-induced problems, these self-inflicted uh, self problems, if you don't fix them, you have the potential to end up like this individual. Whether you're feminine or uh, masculine, whether this is feminine or masculine, it could be either way. Take it how it resonate. But it just seems like it was very simple. Like, yo, like you got the ability to make some changes. What we doing? And then you was like, yeah, I'm cool. I don't even want none of that. So I'm, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do my thing how I do, do. Yeah. And everything's better now. Everything's getting better. So you about to be smiling a lot. You in the sun. You enjoying fun. You're um, I'm here to beat the heat. So you could be outside a lot in the sun for damn sure. Um. Or maybe like in the water. I'm hearing like you in a jacuzzi. So if you in a jacuzzi, it's like in an air conditioned area. If you in a pool, it could be indoor or outdoor. But if it's outdoor, it seems like it's a little bit of shade or something like that. But yeah, it's 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 an upgrade completely. You you was able to see something for what it was. Like man, it's. Uh, it's a thousand ways to skin a cat like to be in the energy of aggression all the fucking time and to think nothing's wrong with that is very weird that also leads to heavy paranoia and probably schizophrenia too 
Because I feel like this is somebody that thinks that you talk about them or they, they have to pay attention to everything to see if you're listening or if you it's to see if you listen to them and then talk about them or if you if you uh, talk about them in general or like whatever the fuck. It's very weird. It's, it's heavy paranoia. That comes with that type of territory. That's why, would you rather be feared or respected? You, I would rather be respected. Why? Because if you're, you rather people fucking fear you, you always gonna wonder what the fuck they got going on behind closed doors. I wonder what they're thinking. I wonder what they're doing. I'm, so now you, they're always paranoid. They're always stalking you. Because they need to know what you're up to, what you're doing. <laughs> yeah, I think you finally learned your lessons. Um, but again, where you think something took forever, it's like, yo, this shit took years. Cousin, this shit took years. I get it. I do. But I can also assure you that in a divine realm, it really only took more like 15 minutes. So that's, uh, that's that. That shit was mad depressing. What the hell? Um, yeah, the devil, the moon, the tower, empress, the magician, the world, the star, the judgment. Yeah, you, it's, it's more like, I don't know, man. This is like a dog barking. I don't I, like, how do you say that? Um, It's like a dog, a very aggressive dog that's barking, but it's like they're on a chain, like a real strong ass chain. And let's say the chain is attached to like some fucking oak tree or something. It's like, and you just looking at the dog, like the dog is like, rah, 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 like right in your fucking face. And you just looking like that's pissing them off even more because I'm trying to like, I'm trying to scare you. I'm trying to, I'm trying to like assert my dominance and you're not you're not blinking you're not scary you just looking like hmm is that what happens when you don't pet your dogs and shit leave them outside hanged up to the chain that what happen hmm did you eat today <laughs> stray dogs are very uh aggressive Somebody has abandonment issues. Somebody was abandoned as a fucking child. That's why they are the way they are now. They grew into a teenager and became aggressive. So as a teenager, they must have been fighting a lot. They decided that that was the best way to live life. So they decided to stay that way. Yeah, that's a very, very, very clear uh, example of what not to be. Because that shit is absolutely ridiculous. And this person will never, ever change their ways. Ever in life. You gotta know that. I'll be right back though.